do this. We got this. Here we go. Hola, amores. Hi, loves. How have you been doing? Wow, this feels super weird and kind of awkward. I'm actually nervous. I have not filmed anything like this for months. I mean, even before COVID pandemic hit, uh, I was trying to get back to filming, but I had a lull there, as you probably know if you've been watching our videos. Um, and it's interesting. I actually got ready. I did my hair and I did my makeup and I'm wearing workout shorts on the bottom because hello, I'm probably not gonna go anywhere today. And if I do, it's gonna go for a walk. So super yes, that's what I need. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are creating. I hope that you're creating with your littles. Uh, we have definitely been ultra creating even more because we've been at home. The whole world has been at home. And I also wanted to show you the mask that I've been wearing because I don't know, it just feels appropriate. So these are some of the masks. Where are we in this world where this is what we're talking about? That I have been wearing. Um, my friend made this one and I will link them below. But I just wanted something fun and cute, some artistic little triangles still. And um, here, I'll show close up. And there we are. And then I ordered this one from Canada. I love Canada. I love when I get to go there. Right now we are not able to, but I'm looking forward to when I can. And it's light blue, kind of tealish, and it just ties back there. And I like it. I like them both. I like this one because you can put a filter in it. And, um, you know, my ears were starting to hurt a little bit from stringing behind my ear. So it's just, I wash them and interchange them. I'll show you a close up of this. Focus. Yeah, my kids also have masks, but they're not here right now. So, you know, maybe later I'll show you that. And I think I also wanted to show that because it is just the reality of where we are. Um, we are in this global pandemic. Uh, things have been crazy. They've been beautiful. They've been hard. They've been, been great parts about them for us. We've been making a lot of memories. We've gotten to know each other as a family in ways that we probably wouldn't have if we didn't have to stay home. Um, I will definitely, hopefully, I don't want to make false promises, but I do want to talk more about that. This is not about that. But I did just kind of want to give an update because we can't act like this is not happening, right? And in our creating, we um, we made some cool DIY painted planners. So I've actually been making these for a while. Um, I have painted planners I've created with my kids for years. It's like right under my face. It's not, it's not poking me, but I have hooked myself with this cactus. I wanted to make a larger planner from our front porch and I wanted to paint it with my kiddos and plant this gorgeous cactus and so this is what I came up with it's super adorable I have named this cactus since they I name all of my plants just so you know um, but since there are two here it is Vicente y Valentina these are my cactus names and I actually did not plan how I was going to paint onto this planter. I just went on the fly and was like, okay, give me some colors. Uh, they happen to match my rug in the front, which I usually don't care much about, but this time I'm like, why not? And I just started to design my own design and I have like some doodles, some lines, some X's, some polka dots, and just things that I do creatively as an artist already naturally. And you'll find in this DIY, my kids actually didn't really want to join me this time because like I said, we have been creating like crazy and now I'm trying to keep ourselves busy where I live, it rains a lot. So they're kind of like, mom, and you do that. We're gonna go over here. And I'm like, cool, it's all good. But they have helped me with these. So yeah, uh, the supplies that you'll need are The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is pick out your paint colors that you wanna use to paint your planter. I will be using these colors. I may use a couple more. I just didn't wanna overwhelm you with a ton of colors on here, but yeah, so go ahead and get those out and then start to put them in your paint palette. Wow, I splattered the pink real good right there, but it's all good. Go ahead and do that and prep your paint. Of course, I couldn't just leave the pink splat like that, so I tried to clean it up a bit. Now you can grab the planter that you're going to be painting on. 
I honestly didn't sketch or prepare anything to paint on this. You can totally go ahead and do that. Sketch your design out first before you start painting. I'm just going to start on a blank canvas and try to get some doodles and lines down and see what comes out. Start with the pink and then add a color and design as I go from there. You can go ahead and like I said before, sketch something out and prep before, get ideas on Pinterest, get inspiration off of what I'm doing. But let's do this, let's make this happen. I'm going to work with different sizes of brushes and start to add different colors and little X's and confettis and polka dots and add the little accents of design that I love to add and you can go ahead and do that. Use as many colors as you'd like and just make it yours, make it unique, do what you do creatively. I didn't end up quite liking that squiggle so I ended up making a little more of a shape and I just love that about having a clean canvas is like you can kind of do whatever you want you can you can change and evolve the design as you go it's casual it's chill so yeah and then I'm gonna go ahead and start to add a second layer over my design just because I want it to be really thick and bold and that's what I'm prepping my paint for here so you could be done with one layer of paint I'm like I said going to go ahead and add a second layer to where it's necessary so it's not see-through. Also I apologize for that sun glare. I wanted to be all nature-y and sit with the sun and design on my back deck but you know the lighting kind of shifted on me the sun was setting but hey this is real life, this is what I'm working with, so I hope you can see around it. And hey, get outdoors. Make something outside too, I hope that inspires you. Peace y'all, it's time to let this do some drying. Now that my paint's dry, I wanted to give you a more in-depth look at what I came up with creatively. Yep, this is it. After looking at my design while showing you, I realized it was missing something, so I grabbed my acrylic markers that I ordered off of Amazon and wanted to add just a couple scribbles on there, some polka dots, which are one of my things that I like to add, smaller X's, just little embellishments. Um, I really like how this white shows up on the terracotta planner, and yeah, go ahead and do that if you would like to, not necessary, just something that I wanted to add to mine. And of course you have to sign your work so I had to sign mine with all kids because all kids are gifted, right? Yeah, they are. Alright, so it looks like all the acrylic paint is dry and all the acrylic marker is dry now. I want to go ahead and show you how to seal this because I'm going to be putting this on my front porch and even if you put it in your house, it's just gonna seal the painting in. It's gonna make sure it lasts a little bit longer through wear and tear and through time, hopefully a year. I'm going to be using this matte varnish that I got at Blick. For me, it works really well when I work with canvas or wood and I've made these planters, like I had said before, almost every year and this is what I've kind of sealed it with. So go ahead and do that. I started with a smaller brush thinking that it would work, but here soon you're gonna see me Realize that this brush isn't gonna work. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna get a bigger brush. I do suggest a bigger brush to put uh, the varnish, the seal uh, over your planter and just make sure that it covers it really well and evenly and actually just faster. And with the varnish, you can use a matte sealant. You can use a gloss. It just depends on what your preference is. This is just what I wanted to do with mine. Then just don't forget to do at least a layer on the inner side of your planter as well so it's protected from when you're watering your plant. And now you're gonna let it dry. So 
So this is the beauty I'm actually going to be putting in there. This is her. She's going to go right in there. I have my garden clogs on, my garden gloves. I didn't realize, but I'm wearing cactus socks, which totally goes and matches. Here we go. Let's do this. Right about this point, in all honesty, I was super afraid to plant this cactus. I felt like I was going to stab myself millions of times. But what you're seeing me do is squeeze a planter that it's in to loosen it, tear out the roots at the end. This is what my mom's always taught me to do. And so that the roots will get the water and form new roots and all of that, I believe. Um, and then you put it into your planter that we designed. Clean up your workspace. It's always important. Uh, then I'm going to put new well draining potting soil all around my planter to just make sure that it's healthy, it's getting new nutrients. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And the last thing I wanted to do was add these pretty rocks to my cactus just to finish it off. You don't have to do this. I love putting rocks and shells into my plants. So go ahead and do that if you would like. So guess what? It wasn't scary to plant this cactus. It was actually pretty easy. And now I get to water it. You get to water your plant and you're all done. there you have it. I hope you made a super cool planter. I hope you had a lot of fun making it with your kiddos on your own, both, you know, whatever, whatever worked for you. If you made multiple, awesome. Congrats. I want to make more too. Um, I feel like I'm going to stab myself in the face with this cat. Like, I feel like I'm just going to lean over a little too far and it's just going to be like, da -da 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 -da. so hopefully it doesn't happen. I'm going to scoot over a little bit just in case, but yes, um, we have new things in the works, new ideas. We did during this time, create uh, all kids are gifted art kits and if you're interested you can go to our website at allkidsaregifted.com under the shop and find the art kits they have been really fun to watch people make they've been fun to watch the kiddos make there's interactive color sh coloring sheets in each one and then you can choose between a drum DIY or a dragon wing DIY these are DIYs that you make with your kids and then they can play with them or wear them and they're just, I've gotten great feedback. We have gotten super great feedback about them. And yeah, now it's summer break. Thank the Lord, it is summer break. Um, and yeah, just having to figure out what the schedule will look like and how to create and give you content. And I can't wait to see your planters. I can't wait to see um, if you do purchase a DIY kit and make those. Remember again, when you do hashtag all kids DIY and again give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to our channel uh, so you can follow along our create creation journey as we follow along your creation journey as well and yeah we if I'm honest we have had some dance parties especially in the first few weeks in March where everything happened our Life was super crazy and we had some dance parties. I am not super big on TikTok, if I'm completely honest. I don't know if I want to be, but, but we have watched a lot of TikToks. We've learned a couple of them, but give yourself a break, have a dance party, have some fun, um, laugh, enjoy. We will for sure be back. There's so much to be said, so much to be discussed and talked about. So we're excited. We're happy to be back. Yes. We love you. Have a great second summer. <laughs> but we'll be back during the summer. But it feels like second summer, right? Yeah. Bye. Adios.